Before we can get going on our Google Maps, we need to set up an API key. So in this lesson, we're going to familiarize ourselves with the Google Maps documentation, as well as set up an API key. The main site for the Google Maps documentation is developers.google.com slash maps. And here is where you need to select what platform you're going to be using. And in this course, we're going to be using the web platform and particularly the JavaScript API. In the main page for the JavaScript API, we can click on this Get Started link. And this is where the bulk of the documentation lives. In the left nav bar, you can see all of this information. The top contains all the high-level overview of each topic. And then below, where the API references link is, this is where the actual API specifications live. So if you ever want to see what a function takes or returns, this is where you would go. However, going back, we need to scroll down and take a look at obtaining an API key. To use Google Maps, you need an API key. If you're in development, you can get away without using one, but you'll have to put it in before you go to production. The reason why you need an API key is for you and Google to keep track of how much you use this API. If you generate 25,000 map loads or more every day, for 90 consecutive days, then you'll probably get contacted by Google to become a paying customer. So rather than clicking this link in the instructions, we can go to a new website for the developer console. So if you go to console.developers.google.com and then sign in with an account, we'll be able to set up an API key. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a project. I'm going to call this project Mapster, and this is the ID that's being assigned to me. You can change it to something that you want, but I'll just keep the generated name. Now that our project's been created, we can go and enable an API. This is a list of APIs that Google will allow access to. If we scroll down, we can get to the Maps API. So right here is the Google Maps JavaScript V3 API. You can see that you're capped at 25,000 requests a day. And currently it's off, so we'll click the off button. And now at the top, we can see that we have our Google Maps JavaScript API enabled. To the right, we can see the quota usage. And we can see that it's at 0% currently. So when we're creating maps, if we use our API key, we'll see this quota grow. To get our API key, we'll just click on the link, click Credentials in the left nav bar, click Create New Key, and then click Browser Key, and then click Create. Now we've generated out an API key. So when creating Google Maps, you'll use this key, and this will keep track of your calls to the API. However, in this course, we're not going to be using a key since everything we're doing is in development. So now that we know how to create our API key, we'll go and create our first Google Map.